morning friend today we want to start third topic reference trigonometry so first lecture that is online in second lecture we have discuss related now we want to go through trigonometry ratio of complementary angle in last lecture we discuss about the 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree and 90 degree so in this lecture we want to discuss about the complementary what is the meaning of complementary that is sum of two angle is 90 one of the angle that is given always 90 in trigonometric other two angle is acute angle so that is angle a plus angle b is equal to 90 a plus angle c is equal to 90 a plus c ko a plus c ka total 90 rahega angle b is equal to 90 now we want to discuss the complementary angle of it so what is the meaning of complementary means it means total is 90 so angle c is equal to i can write 90 minus angle a now if i will first find sin a then sin a then i have to write sin means soch that is sin a means opposite that is bc upon ac now if i will write from here cos c cos c means sketch cos c means sketch sketch means adjacent that is bc upon ac so here equation number 1 is equal to equation number 2 is both equation are same because ab bc upon ac is equal to bc upon ac so we can say that sin a is equal to cos c but if i remove this c by making 90 minus a then cos 90 minus a is equal to sin a so that type of six functions we have to remainder reference it relation so sin a is equal to cos minus cos 90 minus a again i repeat <coughs> the complementary angle means sum of two angle is 90 so angle c is equal to 90 minus a now sin a i am writing it here sin a is equal to bc upon ac sin a so according to the soch sin is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse so opposite is bc and hypotenuse is ac now catch that is cos is equal to adjacent upon hypotenuse so i am writing cos c so cos c is equal to adjacent that is bc upon ac So equation one and two, if we compare equation one and equal to two, we can get sine a is equal to cos c. So sine a now according to the complementary angle, angle c is equal to what? Ninety minus a. So cos ninety minus a. That is a relation. So we can write six relation reference it. Sine a cos ninety minus a. so cos a sin 90 minus a same thing we can also write 10 is equal to cot 90 minus a cot a is equal to 10 90 minus a sec a is equal to cosec 90 minus a and cosec a is equal to sec 
90 minus a. So that type we are doing whole sum. So now I am rub this in 1, 2. Now we go for detail according to the test. So sin A is equal to BC upon AC, cos A is equal to AB upon AC, tan A is equal to BC upon AB, cosec A, AC upon BC, so sin inverse is cosec, cos inverse is sec, tan inverse is cot. Now we want to get the relation of it. So again, soch, catch, and toa. Soch, catch, and toa. Three things we are using. Now, we know that A plus C is equal to 90. Therefore, angle C is equal to 90 minus A. That is according to your test. A plus C is equal to 90. Therefore, angle C is equal to 90 minus A. So now if I am writing it here, see, I am writing first sin C at here. So sin C means what? Sin C that is AB upon AC. Again here, cos C. Again here, tan C. Again here, cos X C. Again here, sec c again here cot c but i have to remove this c and write 90 minus a c ko nikal denge and we have to write 90 minus a so sin 90 minus a is equal to ab upon bc so here if you will see that cos a is equal to ab upon ac and sin 90 minus a is equal to ab upon ac so this relation we can get that is cos A is equal to sin 90 minus A. So that way we are clear six type of difference relation. If you will see properly six type of difference relation. Again AB upon AC here. So if sin A, B, C upon AC cos 90 minus A, B, C upon. So that is our first relation. Again here first cos A, AB upon AC, sin 90 minus A, AB upon AC, that is second, here I have to write two. Third, tan A, BC upon AB, tan A, BC upon AB, again BC upon cot, BC upon AB, so here it is 3, so again here it is 3, cos A, A, AC upon BC, cosec, cosec means sec, ab upon bc again, ab again, cosec a, ac upon bc, so here some mistake here you have to write sec, sec ac upon, okay, so here it is cosec, so Third three already we have got some mistake a little bit. First of all, we have to check fourth. Here it is clear fourth. Cot A AB upon BC. Fourth. 10 90 minus A B upon BC. Now these two we have to check. So sec A AC upon A B. So sec AC upon A B. So that is correct. I have to rub this. Now sec A, AC upon AB, sec, so here that is phi, sec A, AC upon AB, AC upon AB, cos F, that is phi. <coughs> now here it is 6, cos A, AC upon BC, sec 90 minus A, AC upon BC. So 6 total relations are there. Now in next slide, we have to write all this six relation and you have to write it properly. So that is 
trigonometric ratio of complementary angle so that is most important anyhow you have to write when you are when you visualize or watch this type of video you have to make a note and write everything it sin 90 minus theta we can write cos theta tan 90 minus theta we can write cot theta sec 90 minus theta we can write cosec theta cos 90 minus theta we can write sin theta cot 90 minus theta we can write tan theta cosec 90 minus theta we can write sec theta again remember that tan 0 degree and cot 90 degree answer is 0 sec 0 and cosec 90 answer is 1 and sec 90 cosec 0 tan 90 and cot 0 are not defined now one example we have to so evaluate 1065 so i have to write instead of 10 i have to write cot 90 minus 65 <coughs> see here 10 65 so i can write cot 90 minus 65 and cot 25 degree so 90 minus 65 that is cot 25 upon cot 25 answer is 1 always remember that numerator upon denominator cancellation is answer 1 always cancellation answer is 1 always remember it let me see that we are doing answer is correct or not so we know that cot a is equal to 90 minus a so cot 25 is equal to 90 minus 25 so 1065 so here what they are doing they change the cot we are doing first we can change 1065 into cot 25 or cot 25 into 1065 both way it is correct so 1065 again here instead of cot I can write 10 90 minus 25 so 10 65 then again 10 65 answer is 1 now next that is example 10 same thing is here so first of all we have to write the identity if sin and cos is there so I can write sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta so I am applying this at here instead of sin I can write cos 90 minus 3a is equal to cos a minus 26 so cos is theta is same cos theta is equal to cos theta cos theta is equal to now cos it it means theta is same so 90 minus 3a is equal to a minus 26 so 90 plus 26 is equal to a plus 3a that is 4a is equal to 116 so that way we can get value of So now we can do it by <coughs> let me see that according to the text that way you have to solve we are given sin 3a is equal to cos a minus 26 degree sin 3a is equal to cos 90 minus 3a instead of sin I remove it and write cos 90 minus 3a now comparing with cos with cos 90 minus 3a is equal to a minus 26 degree so by using that is 4a is equal to 116 so a is equal to 116 divided by 4 so 4 to the 8 4 9 the 36 so we can get 26 so let me now another, another example that is 11 express cot 85 and cos 755 in the term of trigonometric ratios of angle 0 and 25 so we have to convert this into 0 and 25 so instead of cot I can write 10 90 minus 85 plus 
is of cos i can write sign 90 minus 75 so 10 90 minus 85 that is 10 15 sin 90 minus 75 so it is sin 15 that way you have to do let we see that so 10 phi and sin phi 85 means phi 90 minus phi means 10 phi degree cos 90 minus 15 means sin 15 now we go for exercise that is exercise 8.3 now exercise 8.3 There are four sums out of four. I have to solve any two, so I am solve this. First, sine eighteen degree is equal to cos ninety minus eighteen. Is equal to cos seventy two, and in denominator cos seventy two is given. So answer is one. Or we can also solve cos seventy two degree is equal to cos nineteen minus seventy two. Is equal to sorry. I have to write it here. Sine cos seventy two sine ninety minus seventy two. That is sine eighteen. And already about sine eighteen given. So above here sine eighteen. So answer is. One. Numerator denominator cancel is is always one. Second question, same thing we can do now. Third, cos forty eight degree minus sine forty two degree. Cos I have to write sine. Ninety minus forty. Only one degree you have to change. Don't change all the both degree. Then we can net get answer. So sine ninety minus forty eight. That is cos forty. Sine forty two. Because cos forty eight means ninety. Sine ninety minus forty eight means sine forty two. One is plus. Another is minus. Answer is zero. So as numerator denominator cancellation one, same thing numerator numerator cancellation is zero. Numerator plus minus answer is zero. So cancellation is always zero. So four sums are there out of four. I have cleared the two. Let we that what type they are doing. So according to the text, you have to write like that. और एक बोर्ड बोर्ड थियोरी यू हैव टू राइट लाइक दैट के मुताबिक आपको क्या करना चाहिए पहले डिग्री को कन्वर्ट करना चाहिए सो साइन एटीन इज इक्वल टू कॉस नाइनटी माइनस एटीन कॉस सेवेंटी टू एज इट इज कॉस सेवेंटी टू एज इज सो नाइनटी माइनस एटीन दैट इज सेवेंटी टू सो कॉस सेवेंटी टू ऑफ वन सेवेंटी दैट इज वन न्यूमरेटर डिनोमेटर कैंसलेशन इज ऑलवेज वन न्यूमरेटर न्यूमरेटर कैंसलेशन इज जीरो नाउ so first and second and third already i have solved fourth you will get answer zero again here you will get answer zero here we can get answer one here you will get answer one now so that prove that 1048 10 20 three degree 1042 and 1067 answer is one so what i have to write first i have to write 1048 now near to it i have to write 42 why because the total is 90 degree Then I have to write ten twenty three and ten sixty seven. 
Now if you will see answer, we can get answer 1. Why? Because 1048, we can write as it is here, I have to write cot 90 minus 42 degree. Same thing I have to write 1023 as it is. Here I have to write cot 90 minus 67. Now 1045, 1048 degree as it is. Again cot 48 degree. Same thing 1023 as it is. And cot 23 degree. So when again 10 theta is inversely proportional to cot. 10 theta is equal to 1 upon cot theta. So if I multiply 10 theta multiply by cot theta, we can get answer 1. So we will get answer 1. So here again answer is 1. Here again answer is 1. We can get as it is true. Another way which we can prove, I have to change this and write cot 23. It is also possible. Again, I change it and write cot 67. Then we can get answer same. Let me see that. They are correct or not? We are. See. 10.48, 10.23. 1042, 1067. So 1048 as it is, 1023 as it is. 1042, write cot 90 minus 42. So get for cot 48. 1067, cot 90 minus 67. We can get cot 23. Now 1048 and cot 48. Answer is always 1 because they are inversely proportional. You will see that. Same thing 1023 degree and cot 23 degree we can get answer 1 so that is why here we can get answer 1 same thing when numerator denominator is here now now we go for next question we have to prove 0 cos 38 degree, cos 52 degree minus sin 38 degree, sin 50 degree. So cos 38, again cos 38, sin 52 degree. So that we have to put as it is here. Sin 38, I can write cos 90 minus 38. So cos 90 minus 38 means cos 52 sin 52 means cos 90 minus 52 that is cos 38 now again here cos 38 cos 52 again here cos 52 cos 38 here it is plus so plus minus minus we can get 0 so it is also easy now we go for next question tan 2a is equal to cot a minus 18 degree where 2a is an acute angle find the value of o. same thing we have do now already we know that tan theta is equal to cot 90 minus theta that identity i am using tan 2a so tan 2a is equal to cot 90 minus 2a is equal to cot a minus 18 degree so 90 minus 2a is equal to a minus 18 degree so therefore 108 is equal to 3a so A is equal to 36 degree. Always remember it should be acute. So it should be answer should be always less than 90. 
now put 10a is equal to cot b that is given Ten A is equal to cot B is given. Now ten A, we have to prove that A plus B is equal to ninety. Prove that A plus B is equal to ninety. So ten A as it is, you can write. Then I change it here. Ten A ninety minus A. So theta is same now. So A is equal to ninety minus. Okay, I think we are doing some mistake. Ten that is given. If prove that, okay. So ten a here ten ninety minus b. I have to write because theta is same. You cannot write ninety minus a. I have to write b at here. Now a is equal to ninety minus b. Therefore, a plus b is equal to ninety. Let me see that old. We whatever we are doing at here that is correct or not? So we can in first that is question number three. We can get answer thirty six. Same thing. Second, instead of ten a, I can write cot ninety minus a is equal to cot b. Now theta is same, so ninety minus a is equal to b. So a plus b is equal to ninety. Same thing. Sec four a, so I can write here cos sec ninety minus four a is equal to cos sec. A minus twenty. So phi a is equal to hundred and ten. Let me see that. So third sum. That I think here it is not, but I have to do question number five. That is question number four. Now fifth sum. So cos sec ninety minus four a. Is equal to cos sec a minus twenty degree. So ninety minus four a is equal to a minus twenty degree. So hundred and ten is equal to phi a. So a is equal to hundred and ten by phi. That is twenty two degree. That way we can get answer. Now next. Question number six and seven, two sums still left, so it means that exercise is complete. A, B, C are interangles of triangle, so that. So first of all, we have to write A plus B plus C is equal to one eighty. Now B plus C, that is eight one eighty minus A. If I divided by two both, then B plus C divided by two. Is equal to ninety minus a by two. Now, if I multiply both side by side, it will be convert into cos a by two and sine b plus c by two. Let me check that if we are correct or not. Sin b plus c, sin 180 minus c by 2, sin 90 minus a by 2, cos a by 2, sin. So a plus b plus c is equal to 180. Instead of 180, 180 minus a by 2 we can write. So 90 by a by 2, we can get cos a by 2. Now, already that we have done in earlier. Let me see that. We know that sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. And cos theta is equal to sine ninety minus theta. So sine theta is equal to cos theta. So question is sine sixty seven. So I have to convert into a cos twenty three because total is ninety. Cos seventy five I have to convert into sine fifteen by using identity. Sine fifteen is 
sin theta cos 90 minus theta cos theta sin 90 minus theta that way we have computed this so three lectures already I have provided 8.1 8.2 and 8.3 all three exercises we have completed now we go for next that is 8.4 and identities it should be not in your exam but it we we have to complete this